Uh, hi everyone, so um, my name is Patrick Cosgrove and I'm the Student Recruitment Officer in Mary Immaculate College. And uh, today is the first of a series of live Instagram Q&A sessions that we'll be running. So um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them at any stage uh, today. It's a general uh, Instagram Q&A, so you know, if you have questions about our programs, about our facilities, about scholarships, uh, accommodation, whatever it is, uh, feel free to post them and I'll try to get through as many of them uh, as I possibly can. So um, maybe just to get us started, I'm, I might just give you a quick brief overview of Mary Immaculate College. And then we have some questions that maybe people have sent in already. We might get through some of them. So I suppose for those of you that aren't maybe that familiar with the college, uh, Mary Immaculate College was founded in 1898. Um, it was initially set up as a teacher training college to train students how to be primary school teachers and today we have roughly about 5,000 students so um, at this stage I suppose while um, you know primary teaching is still a very uh, big part of what the college does um, we have lots of other courses now as well so um, we do everything from a Bachelor of Arts degree where you have 13 subjects that you can choose from we have degrees in early childhood care if you're interested in, our, in um, you know, uh, dealing with young children uh, before primary school level. We also have a BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies if you have any interest in drama, theatre, anything like that. And we also have a second campus in Turles in County Tipperary um, where we do a number of programmes that qualify you to teach um, subjects such as business, accounting, religion, arts and maths at secondary school level. So we're now a multi-campus institution. So we still have our traditional a primary teaching um, program so you can still do your Bachelor of Education to qualify as a uh, primary school teacher. We also have primary school teaching with psychology as well um, you know if you wanted to be a primary school teacher and get a, your degree uh, in psychology as well. We also have a new program that was just introduced this year on the CEO and it's the Bachelor of Education International where um, as part of the program, as, as well as getting your primary uh, teaching qualification, you have to go abroad for a semester to uh, link up with one of our partner universities, whether that's in America, Australia, wherever it is, and you just get that international aspect uh, to your degree where you can, you know, hopefully that will be valuable to you when you go forward looking for jobs. So that's kind of a brief overview of the college. Uh, there's lots of other uh, things available. We've undergraduate entrance scholarship schemes, sports scholarship schemes as well. Um, obviously lots of different student support services also. And like I said, today is the first in a series of live Instagram Q&As. Uh, next week, we'll have um, Dr. Carol Quigley, and she'll be available to take any questions on the BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies uh, degree. And just keep an eye on our website and any of our different social media platforms for the various sessions as they come up uh, each week over the coming uh, weeks and months. So um, might just make a start so on some of the questions. Many of you have uh, submitted them to me already. If you do have a question now, while we are live, just um, post it and, and I'll try to get to as many of them as possible. Um, so some of you are very good over the last day or two. You sent us on some questions and um, some of the ones we got for example was uh, do you need a certain result to get into a post-primary PME after an arts degree? So I presume that's in relation to the professional masters of education which is a two-year postgraduate program that we have and it's basically uh, for people who already have a degree and want to become uh, a primary school teacher. So uh, the question was, can you do it after an arts degree? Um, the answer is yes, you can. Lots of our students who have done our arts, de arts degree have gone on to apply for that PME, the Professional Masters in Education. So really, currently the entry requirements to get onto that postgraduate program are that you need a level eight degree, um, you need to get at least a 2-2 in it. So it doesn't matter what it is, it could be the arts degree, early childhood care, um, as long as it's a level 8 degree you get your 2-2. Uh, there's an interview, there's an oral Irish examination, you still need to meet the entry requirements um, for Irish, English and maths, but if you get through all that, get on to that uh, two-year master's, you'll be fully qualified and ready to go at the end of your two years. So it's a longer route into primary school teaching, um, but it might be an option, you know, if you don't get the points, maybe do the arts degree with us in Mary Immaculate, and, um, or if, if in years to come, if you wanted to change careers, if you wanted to... Um, you know, uh, try out primary school teaching maybe at some stage, it might be another option available to you. Uh, some other questions then that we got. Um, can graduates teach immediately after completing a post-primary 
course in Tarlis. So, uh, like I said earlier, we have a second campus in Tarlis in County Tipperary, another Tarlis campus. You can do a number of programs that qualify you as a secondary school teacher in subjects like business, accounting, religion, Irish, or maths. So, it's their four year programs. At the end of your four years, you can teach uh, immediately in a secondary school in Ireland. So, you're fully qualified, ready to go. So, I suppose they're great programs from that point of view. A lot of people now who want to be a secondary teacher, uh, they're probably doing an arts degree in their two subjects. Um, when they finish their arts degree, they're going on then to do a two-year master's to qualify as a secondary school teacher. So it's probably taking them between five and six years to qualify. Whereas if you were on um, any of our programs on our Tardis campus, you could be fully qualified to teach business and accounting, religion, religion and Irish studies, whatever combination it is, at the end of your four years. So not only are you going to save an awful lot of time, but you're going to save you and your parents an awful lot of money as well, because you won't be paying for that uh, extra two-year postgraduate master's to qualify in your subject so your teacher training is included as part of the program and at the end of the four years as well as being a qualified secondary school teacher in your two subjects you also have a degree in your um, in your uh, two subjects as well so even if you went teaching for a while and the teaching didn't work out you could always fall back on the fact that you had a degree in those two subjects as well so Questions come in there about MIC Tarlis uh, is it the only uh, university or college to offer a business teaching degree um, off the top of my head, I'm not too certain. I would say, um, I suppose a lot of people might do it uh, via the arts degree route and that they do their undergraduate degree in business and then go on and do maybe. Um, so might look, it might be best to check out maybe some of the uh, different college websites just to double check that. Um, obviously, we definitely have it here in Mary Immaculate. We have business with a number of options, with accounting, with religious studies, with maths. So some great options available to you there in Tardis. So, question then from uh, Kyle.drailing10. How successful are students in finding jobs upon graduating? Um, I presume that's in relation to the TARDIS programs that I'm just talking about. So, um, yeah, students have been very successful in terms of getting uh, employment, um, particularly a lot of the subjects, very good employment prospects, uh, the combinations like maths and Irish. Uh, core subjects available in every secondary school in the country. So, you know, there are obviously going to be uh, great employment prospects there. You're probably going to get a job straight away. Uh, there's obviously a shortage of uh, Irish teachers in particular in many parts of the country. So that's a very good good one to have. Um, so very good job prospects at the, at the end of your four years. Um, this question there, another person wondering, is there any chances of entering the college uh, due to Corona? So no, I'm afraid our college campuses and our Limerick and Tardis campuses are both uh, closed at the moment while the current uh, uh, coronavirus or COVID-19 pandemic uh, is on. Um, another question from Canceletic there, is there a combination of art subjects you wouldn't recommend to do together because of job prospects? Um, to be honest, no, it's really up to yourself what, what art subjects it is that you want to, want to take. Currently, there's 13 art subjects available. So you have lots of different combinations that you can choose from. And the way the arts degree works is in first year, you choose four subjects. So first couple of weeks, you go around to all your different classes. Uh, you decide which four it is that you would uh, like to take. And then you pick them in first year. So at the end of first year, then you drop two and you take your two, uh, to, uh, your remaining two onto degree level. So at the end of the four years, you could have a degree in psychology and media communication studies, English and Irish, whatever combination it is. So it's just up to yourself what area it is you'd like to get employed in in the future uh, or what you want to do like if you want to go teaching secondary teaching maybe uh, you know you want to pick subjects that are obviously on the second school curriculum uh, it really is down to yourself and your personal choice uh, trisha.murphy has a question what supports do you have in place for dare students on the bachelor of uh, education program so yeah here in mary immaculate we are part of the uh, here scheme and also part of the DARE scheme. So the DARE scheme is for uh, students um, with uh, disabilities. So we've, uh, we have an access office. They have lots of different uh, technical and IT supports. Um, you know, and they have also lots of other things as well, but part of, uh, as part of the course, you know, if you're doing your exams, you'll be getting extra time, getting enlarged papers. It all just depends on what your uh, requirements are. Um, lots of different supports there, as I said, everything from IT to um, we have counselling services as well. So there's lots of different supports there for students. Uh, question there on Tardis campus. Is there student accommodation on your Tardis campus? The answer is yes. We have accommodation on our Tardis campus. So I advise you maybe just to check it out on our um, website. Uh, just look up for our accommodations page and there's lots of information there about it.
Uh, Amy Murray asks, could you speak about the new Bachelor of Education International course? Um, yeah, so we have a new course, uh, as I said, it starts starting this year, the Bachelor of Education International. So it's very similar to the current Bachelor of Education uh, program. So at the end of the four years, you're qualified as a primary school teacher. But as part of the course, you have to go abroad for a semester in uh, third year. So you link up with one of our partner universities, where, whether that's in America, Australia, or wherever it is that you decide to go. And you give a semester abroad. And I suppose it's a brilliant opportunity to not only uh, experience living and working abroad, but also just to see um, you know, uh, what another education system is like uh, and just get experience that might stand to you when you go forward looking for jobs. So you'll be doing the same uh, modules that you'll be covering on the Bachelor of Education. You still have to do your school placement about 24 weeks spread out over four years. Uh, main difference really is you have to go abroad for a semester uh, in third year. Uh, next question then, would you recommend doing a BA in early childhood care or picking Irish in arts to get uh, that covered to go into primary teaching? So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, for the professional masters in education, that two-year postgraduate qualification uh, for people who already have a level eight degree and who want to become a primary school teacher, uh, entry requirements for that is that you need a level eight degree and you need to get a 2-2 in it. So it doesn't matter what it's in, uh, it's really up to your personal choice and maybe keeping your options open. Obviously, if you want to do early if you do early childhood care, you really want to like working with young children. It's a quite a specific qualification. Uh, the, the arts degree is probably a little bit more general, a little bit broader. There's 13 subjects you can choose from, so you may have different options after you finish that. But the main thing is the criteria are a level 8 degree and uh, you need your 2-2 in it and you need to meet the entry requirements, get through the interview, get through the oral Irish test as well. So uh, that's just uh, the main thing to keep in mind. Uh, next up, how many places do you have available each year for DARE and HERE students? So um, we have a uh, place available on all our courses on our Limerick campus and our Taurus campus for HERE and DARE students. Usually there will be roughly maybe about 5% of the places on a course could be set aside uh, for students uh, under those schemes. Um, that, that's currently the practice um, last year in 2019. So yeah, there's definitely places available on all of the programmes. Could you give a brief rundown on the on the postgraduate or primary teaching program? So yeah, I've already just talked about that. Um, two year um, postgraduate qualification for people if they have a level eight degree and want to become a primary school teacher. So uh, because I've covered it already, you might just have a quick look at um, our website or maybe you can look at a rerun of this uh, later on, maybe today. Uh, quick question there from Kaylee. What would happen if you get your course points but not, but might not meet the entry requirements? So for any course, I suppose you have to meet the entry requirements as well as getting the points. So that's the criteria. So say, for example, if it's the Bachelor of Education Primary School Teaching, um, you have to get that H4 in Irish. You'd have to get that uh, minimum O4 or H7 in English and Maths uh, if you want to get onto the course as well as the points. So that goes for, for all of our programs. Um, next question from uh, Kyle Drilling 10. How do you see COVID-19 affecting incoming first years? Well, I suppose all third level colleges are kind of in the same boat at the moment. Um, we're all trying to make plans and we're literally going on a day-to-day, on a -day, week-to-week basis as information is released, I suppose, by the government and the HSE. So obviously if the leaving cert is going to be a bit later this year, it's more than likely that the college year for first years, they will probably start later. So they may start maybe end of October, uh, end of November. As soon as we have uh, you know, confirmed all this, we will make, we'll let students know anyway. So yeah, you're probably going to be starting a little bit later uh, in, in the semester this year. Um, and Murray has a question then, do you think points will go up this year, particularly for primary teaching courses uh, due to demand and students having longer to, to revise? To be honest, I suppose it's points for any of our programs. It really just depends every year. We obviously won't know until the summer, until they're released by the CEO. A lot of it depends on supply and demand. It just depends on how many students put it down. Uh, we'll still have the same number of places are roughly available. Um, so to be honest, the honest answer is, as, is I don't know. We just have to wait and see. Next question from uh, Cancel, uh, I think it's Cancel the Leaving Cert actually. Uh, would that H4 in Irish requirement uh, points go up because of everybody now having 100% orals, etc., if you're allowed to say? Um, to be honest, um, as far as we're aware, the H4 is just going to stay as it is. There's no change to the entry requirements for the Bachelor of Education. It's primary school teaching. Um, whether that will have an effect on um, results or not, I suppose we'll just have to wait to, wait to see. Uh, and like I said previously, in terms of points, it really just depends on how many students put it down or how the preferences uh, work out uh, in the summer. So we'll just have to wait and see. 
So our next question is, where can I find the entry requirements for UK students for the undergraduate degree programs? Um, so yeah, if you just go to our website and uh, whatever the program pages is, there should be, um, uh, under entry requirements, there should be information there for students who are maybe outside the Irish system. And if there isn't, there's a Q&A platform on all of our program web, uh, pages uh, called Pubble. So you can send off your question there and someone like myself or someone in the admissions office, they'll get back to you with an answer uh, to your query about those uh, international entry requirements anyway. And Murray again, if students don't start till October, November, would the on-campus accommodation and core park accommodation prices stay the same? So at the moment, currently in terms of accommodation, I suppose we're just waiting on um, a little bit more confirmation. Obviously, if, if it was a normal year and you were on campus for the full semester, it'd be, it'd be a normal price. But, um, but if, if, if students are going to be starting later uh, in October, November, we'll just have to see at the moment. So we're currently looking into that and hopefully we'll have confirmation on all that over the coming weeks. So uh, if you do have accommodation book with us, stay in touch with our accommodations office, make contact with them by email, by phone. You can find the details on our website, uh, mic.ie. And just stay in contact as soon as... Um, we have a firm, concrete decision and all that, we'll let you know. Uh, Sarah Cantillion asks, how many places are there for teaching uh, in the international course? So that's the Bachelor of Education International. Um, uh, presently, there's probably between, I suppose, approximately 12 to 15 places are available, uh, and they are separate to the Bachelor of Education itself. So remember, they're separate courses, separate CEO codes, uh, separate amount of places available. So if Murphy wants to know, has there been any word in the graduation? So I presume that means you're a current student, if are about this year's graduation. Um, look, we're looking into all this like every other university at the moment. I suppose highly unlikely that there be on-campus graduations like there would have been uh, in previous years due to the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, Look, we're looking into options at the moment uh, in terms of what we'll do. Uh, just keep an eye on our website and we'll inform students as soon as a decision is made in the college. Uh, Niall Gorman wants to know if you're a first year in Turles and you want to play football, do you play for the senior team or for the Limerick Freshers? So our MIC Turles campus have their own uh, GA teams in Harling, Gaelic football, uh, ladies football, Camogie. So uh, you play with them in the various third level competitions. They had a Freshers uh, football, um, they'd also have a senior football team as well. Okay, I'm going to just go back to a couple of the other questions that came in beforehand. Um, someone asked me, um, there, uh, prior to this, can you get entry to the business and accounting course with just a level five PLC? So that's our tireless program, business and accounting. Um, and the, I suppose the short answer is yes, there are uh, further entry routes into a number of our tireless programs. Uh, the business and accounting program, business and religious studies, Irish and business, maths and business. Uh, there are um, uh, further entry education routes. So if you do a level five in certain subjects, if you just go to our uh, website, just check out our further education entry routes, you can see the, the criteria there and you also might need to get certain uh, marks in your different modules as well to be eligible to apply. So yes there are uh, further entry routes and there's also further entry routes on our Bachelor of Arts degree, our Early Childhood Care degree and our BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies programme as well on our Limerick campus. Okay, a few other ones that came in prior to um, the uh, Q&A today. Uh, we had, does anyone, is there any advantages of doing a B.Ed. with psychology over just a normal B.Ed.? I suppose it's really up to yourself. The B.Ed. with psychology is basically a primary school teaching degree with psychology. So at the end of your four years, you're qualified as a primary school teacher and you also have a degree in psychology recognised by the Psychological Society of Ireland. So um, it's really up to yourself. You'd have more options, I suppose, in terms of getting jobs uh, and so on at the end of your degree. So do you, another question has come in there. Do you have any information on international primary teaching such as points requirements? So obviously we won't know the points until the summer, until they're released. This is the first year of the program. Like I said earlier, there's probably 12 to 15 places available. Same entry requirements as the regular Bachelor of Education. So it's your H4 in Irish. Uh, you need to get an O4 or a H4. Um, seven in English and maths. And um, they are the current entry requirements at the moment. And of course you won't know the points until the summer. So Emma Byrne asks, outside campus accommodation in Turles, where can you find accommodation? Um, if you just go to our accommodations page, Emma, you'll find um, uh, there's a list there of other accommodation uh, outside of the Turles campus, or just contact our accommodations office. They'll put you, uh, they can give you information about different um, accommodation that's available in the Turles area as well. 
Emo 2000 to ask, um, do you see current students, I think is it being back on uh, in September? To be honest, um, we w we'll just have to wait and see. Um, it could be online um, uh, teaching like it is at the moment. It literally is on a week to week and a month to month basis as, as we deal with this COVID-19 uh, pandemic. So just keep an eye on the website as soon as we know we we'll update you. And Murray asks, what would you say is the best route to take course wise if you don't get a place on the Bachelor of Education course? Would it be more beneficial to do an early childhood or an arts degree? So I suppose if you don't get the primary school, uh, the points for primary school teaching, you could, for example, um, if you do another level eight degree, like the arts degree or childhood care, you could apply for that postgraduate master's in education, two year course, doesn't matter what level uh, degree you have. Um, like I said earlier, early childhood is very specific, so it just depends on what you're interested in. The arts degree might offer you more options available there as well. So it's really just up to your personal preference. Uh, Weller uh, asks, uh, do you think the points for the B.Ed uh, International will be as high as the B.Ed and Psychology? So uh, to be honest, we don't know. As it's the first year we've ran the course, we just have to wait and see. Um, I suppose because there's maybe only 12 to 15 places available, if there is an awful lot of interest in it, a lot of people put it down as CEO, the points could be a little bit higher. Um, next question come in, would, you, would incoming first years be doing um online if that's the way it goes or will we be waiting to go physically to campus so yeah like i said some of the earlier questions uh it's we're literally going on a week by week basis at the moment so depending on the government advice and hsc guidelines uh, we'll just have to see maybe some of the first semester uh it might be online teaching um but um, we'll just have to wait and see some of the first years obviously with the leaving cert later uh this year you might be starting uh maybe later in the semester maybe end of october early november as soon as we know we'll put it out there on our website so just keep an eye on that as well um, next question then is for Jules uh, Khan uh, Cannon. I did my leave insert in 2018. Would I still be eligible for an entrance scholarship? So I presume that's our undergraduate entrance scholarships. So I suppose, uh, Jules, as long as you haven't started another program uh, in college, uh, you should be if it's the first one you're starting for. So those uh, undergraduate entrance scholarships, there were €2,000 in first year, available on all of our programs on our Limerick and our Tarlis campus basis. So um, you don't have to fill up any forms or anything. If you put down one of our programs and you get a place on one of our programs uh, and you get very high points, uh, for example, on the arts degree, there's 15 um, uh, scholarships available, and the 15 students with the highest points, they all get offered a place or a 2,000 euro scholarship in first year. So we'll approach you if you do well in your leaves that get high points. So um, that's uh, that question. Um, M Brady 92 asks, if taking PME interviews this year, when do we regret with the results on these? So um, look, you've already if you've been. Uh, call for an interview, they'll uh, give you further information will come out from the college probably over the coming weeks and months about when you'll get your results. Um, just keep an eye on your, on your email and um, if you have, an, if you have a, a question, you can always go to our admissions office or, or email admissions at mic.ul.ie and they'll give you further information about that. Um, Ashleen uh, O'Neill95 asks, I deferred my course last year to start this September. When will we find out from CEO for Turles? So um, I'd say the best thing to do there, Ashton, uh, if you do have queries just about uh, deferring and that, is to contact our um, admissions office. So best thing to do is give them an email. It's admissions at mic.ul.ie and just put in your query there and they'll get back to you with an answer hopefully in the next day or two. Okay, so while we're waiting for some more questions, I might go to some more that came in uh, prior, to the, um, uh, prior to the live Q&A today. Uh, we have a lot, a lot of these have already been answered, I suppose. Um, we had people, how many points would the BED be this year? Obviously, we don't know the points. We just have to wait till the summer. Um, some people are asking as well, will the Irish leaving cert entry requirements change for the BED because of the Irish oral situation? Um, look, the entry requirements are staying the same at the moment. Um, there's, go, there's no change at the moment, so uh, they're still the same as they were. A uh, question coming in there from year 2000. Will COVID affect prospects uh, for your placement in the BA for uh, third year? Um, yeah, I suppose at the moment, yeah, like I said earlier, this is all just an evolving situation. So we're looking into all of this at the moment uh, in terms of placement on the BA or on the uh, any of our programs or the Bachelor of Education. So look, 
as soon as we know, we'll be putting the information out there. Um, if you are a student already already with us, might be no harm to contact uh, one of our departments. There's uh, all contact details available on our um, main website page at the moment as well, if you just want to get a little bit more information on that. Uh, Carl Ann McQueen asks, I know it's too soon to know anything about yet, but do you know anything about graduations that are usually in October? So I think we had a similar question already, and I suppose the answer um, is, we at the moment we're just we're just waiting uh, to, to kind of see how things develop. We are looking into into alternatives. Um, it's probably highly unlikely that it will be on campus, uh, same as it was in previous years in October. But as soon as we do have confirmation, uh, we will let students know. Okay, so we're just looking into alternatives at the moment. Uh, next question then is from Ella uh, Morley. Can you summarize what classes you would be taking if you did primary teaching? Um, yeah, so like basically primary teaching, I suppose. You'd have approximately 30 hours a week. You'd also be out in school placements uh, as well in different schools. So you do about 24 weeks spread out over the four years. So in terms of the kind of areas you'd be covering, obviously you're learning how to teach subjects in the primary school curriculum. So obviously areas like Irish, English, maths are important. But you'd be covering areas like uh, STEM, science, technology, engineering, maths at primary school level. You'd be learning how to use technology in the classroom. You'd be looking at areas like PE, um, special education, um, uh, education psychology modules as well. So there are all the different kind of areas you'll be looking at. If you want to get a little bit more information about that, you can always look at our prospectus. It's on our website. Um, uh, you can download it or you can have a look at it there. You can see all the different course modules that you do uh, right throughout the four years of your program. So that might be something to check out. Uh, Alana Medley asks, what arts electives are easy to pick for second year? So I would presume that's in relation to the uh, electives or specialisms that you do on the uh, Bachelor of Education programme. So in terms of being easy to pick, I suppose, look, that's really, it's really up to your, your personal preference. Um, there's lots of different options available to you. So there's everything from, um, I suppose, history, geography, Irish, uh, and so on. And they're just different arts ones that you can that you can choose. And obviously different education uh, electives as well that you can that you can take. Um, you know, it just depends on what you're interested in uh, as well. So look, it's really just down to a personal choice. Uh, Leanne Tree asks, if you don't get enough points for business and Irish teaching in Turles, what course would be best to do to get into it? Uh, an arts degree. So for um, business and Irish, uh, I suppose if you didn't get into it, um, it suppose depends on what you want to do. If you wanted to do, you suppose you could go the longer route if and do an arts degree in business and Irish, and then go on to do your professional masters in education that route. Uh, that might be a long, it'd be a longer route, but you still uh, be qualified maybe at the end of your five or six years. So that's probably an alternative way to get into it. So yeah, an arts degree might be the way to go. Uh, Emma Byrne asks, is there any module for working with special needs in Turles for teaching? Um, off the top of my head, I'm not. I'm not certain, Emma. Um, you can have a look at the modules uh, on our prospectus that's available on our website online. Um, I'm not too sure if there is, but if you want, maybe to. Um send on an email maybe to paula.horrigan at mic.ul.ie on our Turles campus. She might be able to give you a little bit more information about that. Uh, Weller Emmy asks, how many electives do you choose in the B.Ed. course? So uh, electives are available from second year on, so you've uh, different options available to you. So uh, like I was saying earlier, you can choose from education um, electives or arts electives. So you can do a multidisciplinary approach, or maybe if you're just very interested in one specific uh, area, you might just stick to that. So it really just depends on what you're interested in and what you want to do. Uh, Rachel O'Brien um, asks, is there much of a difference in primary education and primary education with psychology? So I kind of covered this a little bit already. So the Bachelor of Education, primary teaching, you're fully qualified at the end of your four years. For primary teaching uh, with, with psychology, that's the Bachelor, the B.Ed. in Education and Psychology, you still do the same education modules as those on the Bachelor of Education. You still do your 24-week school placement spread out over the four years, but you're obviously doing psychology modules as well. So at the end of the four years, you'll be fully qualified as a primary school teacher, which are qualification recognised by the Teaching Council of Ireland. You'd also have a, a, a degree in psychology as well that's recognised by the Psychological Society of Ireland. So you just would have different options available to you. you some students would go, might be thinking of becoming an educational psychologist. If that was the case, 
you know, you might do uh, the primary teacher with psychology, uh, get some experience in a school and then apply maybe for a three year a PhD that we have in Mary Immaculate to qualify you uh, in that field. So that's an option some of our students uh, might do. Um, I suppose uh, feedback from a lot of our students who've done uh, the B.A. Um, in education and psychology. And many of them have come back and said the reason they got their job in many instances is because of their psychology qualification. So hopefully that would improve your prospects of getting employment or might uh, get you further work in the future. So uh, Keen Howley asks, if a student decides to study the Bachelor of Arts course, uh, do they get a taster of each subject before they have to pick what subjects they would like to study in first year? Um, so again, yeah, we, normally in the first couple of weeks, you can go around to different lectures. You have a bit of flexibility there uh, before you decide to pick uh, your subjects. Um, so yeah, there's a bit of flexibility there in the first number of weeks, first month. You can maybe see what different subjects are like, see what appeals to you before you decide to pick your four subjects in first year. Okay, so we just might go through a few more uh, sub uh, questions that came in um, prior to the event today. Um, someone has asked, we've had questions about points. Um, is there a lot of Irish involved in the Bachelor of Edu Education? Someone asked, uh, obviously the entry requirement is a H4. Uh, that's what you need to get onto the program. Obviously, Irish is an important part of the primary school uh, curriculum. So yes, it, there is Irish involved, but look, it's only one aspect of the course uh, as well. So and if you can get the entry requirement for Irish, get on the programme, you should be able for uh, the standard of Irish that's, that's on the programme. So Rita Ward wants to know, is there a backdoor into primary teaching through arts? So we probably covered this a, a bit already. So some people who might do the Bachelor of Arts degree might go on to apply for that two-year master's, uh, the professional master of education that we have. So it's for students who already have a level eight degree like their Bachelor of Arts degree and who want to become a primary school teacher. So like I said earlier, uh, you need a level eight degree, you need to get a 2-2 in it. Uh, there's an interview, there's an oral Irish examination. If you could get on that uh, PME, professional master's of education, at the end of your two years, you're fully qualified as a primary school teacher. So it's a longer route into, into uh, primary teaching, but might be an alternative as I said if you didn't get the points or if you wanted to change careers in the future. So some other questions that have come in, um, any idea how students or is there, a, uh, sorry now, uh, for Irish, uh, for primary teaching courses will the Irish grade, grade remain the same at H4 and the answer is yes we haven't heard anything to the contrary so uh, the Irish uh, should remain the same for the H4. Um, someone wants to know as well what job opportunities are there available on completion of the early childhood care course. So lots of our students I suppose would go on to uh, work in uh, managerial roles and creches and preschools, early start units. Uh, some would get involved in children's charities or lecturing for example. Others would work with various local and national government agencies in terms of research and policy developmental roles. So there are different, different job opportunities there. So Amy Murray asks, what does a 2-2 mean? That's basically a, a grade um, in terms of uh, the mark. Um, if you want to check it out, maybe just Google it at the moment um, and you might get the exact uh, percentage-wise what exactly it is, Amy. Um, Ella Morley asks, can you give me a rundown of language and uh, literacy? So in terms of language and literacy, I'm not too sure exactly what is that to do with... Um, uh, I'm not sure exactly what, uh, which of our courses that's actually in relation to Ella. Uh, if you want to just maybe clarify that a little bit, I might be able to, to answer it. Uh, Maeve Quinn asks, are you qualified with the, the BA? So that's the Bachelor of Education. Yeah, we've lots of us. You're fully qualified as a primary school teacher at the end of your four years, which are qualification recognised by the Teaching Council of Ireland. So we have students not only teaching in Ireland, but abroad in the UK, in America, Australia, different uh, uh, countries as well. So obviously other countries may have additional requirements uh, that you might need to fulfil also, but yeah, we have people teaching in lots of different countries uh, right throughout the world as well. Uh, some other countries that came in, or some other questions that come in, what would you re recommend to do if you're on the waiting list for accommodation? Um, I suppose, look, we have on-campus accommodation uh, on a Limerick and a Torres campus. Um, look, if you're on the waiting list, I suppose I'd recommendation is to stay on it. If, if other people drop out, then you may be approached about it and um, you might be able to get a place. But keep in contact with our accommodation office anyway is the main thing to do. Uh, Rita Ward, 27, wants to know uh, what were the points for arts last year? Last year the points for arts were 300, so you can check that out on our website as well. Uh, Rose Dolphin wants to know how many years does it take to become a primary school teacher if you do the arts course? So, uh, like I said earlier, 
for the professional masters of education that postgraduate program if you do an arts degree that'll be in mary immaculate that'll be four years and if you could get on to that uh, pme professional masters of education here in the college you'll be fully qualified as a primary school teacher in two years after that so it'll take you probably six years or so if you did it uh, through mary immaculate um Okay, LMR is yes, so sorry, it said language and literacy in primary uh, teaching. So, um, so I presume it's uh, uh, the LA you're wondering is that one of the electives or something like that? Um, off the top of my head, I'm not 100% certain, I might have to check that out for you. Um, so, if you want to just give me give me an email, maybe after this is patrick.cosgrove at mic.ul.ie, and I'm, I can check it out to you and I can email you back uh, in due course. So a few other things that came in then, we had what happens if you get the, po the course points but don't meet the entry requirements. So we covered that already. You have to get the entry requirements as well as the points for entry to, to, to any of our programs. So that's just something to keep in mind. Um, let's just see, we had a couple of more else that we haven't covered maybe. Um, can you teach immediately after uh, your degree in Tarlis? Yes, you can. You're fully qualified as secondary school teacher at the end of your four years. So you can go teach straight away. Uh, Jamie Early um, asks, are you guaranteed to get uh, your two subjects for your second year in the arts degree, for example, like psychology and Irish? So good question, Jamie. Yeah, so for most of our uh, subjects on our arts degree, there's no um, restrictions after first year. But for, for the subject psychology, uh, there usually is a restriction on the number of places. So anyone can do psychology in first year. Um, in second year then there is a restriction it's usually around 25 places are available so you know it depends on how many people want to keep it on for example um, if there's 50 students want to keep it on and there's only 25 places available it'll be based on your first year uh, examination uh, results so that's how they'll decide who uh, gets to keep it on so maybe just keep that in mind I do also keep in mind as well that our psychology um, uh, subject on our arts degree is recognised by the Psychological Society of Ireland. And that's a very, that is crucial really if you are thinking of uh, maybe working in that whole area in the future. So very important to keep in mind. Um, we just had a couple of more maybe questions that came in prior to our live Q&A today. I'll just go back uh, through them. Um, Will the Irish oral being cancelled have any impact on anything? To be honest, um, we'll just have to wait and see in terms of does it affect points in the summer. Um, it hasn't affected entry requirements, anything like that. Um, do we expect points to go up because full marks were given in orals and practicals? Same question as well. We'll just have to wait and see in, in the summer. Hasn't changed the entry requirements. We still have the same number of places, so it just really depends on how many uh, students put it down uh, as a preference on their, um, on their CEO form. Um, let's just have a quick look for a couple of more here. Um, someone wants to know what are the best things about uh, Mary Immaculate College and why would you choose Mary I over Dublin Colleges? So I suppose Mary Immaculate College is probably best known for the relaxed atmosphere on campus and the approachability of our staff and our lectures. Uh, we would have won our highest retention rates of any of the third level institutions. So the last, the last um, uh, Higher Education Authority report put our retention rate at 94%. So that probably says an awful lot for the student support service that we have and uh, how well we look after our students on our Limerick and our Tardis campuses. So, um, you know, that might be just one reason to keep us in mind. Um, so we're, time is uh, almost, uh, almost running out. So if you do have any questions, um, Put them up now in the next minute or two uh, before we um, finish up. So um, we have another question in. Do you think teaching is going to change after the summer, even if restrictions are lifted by then? So, uh, yeah, like, like I said earlier, uh, it's highly likely that next semester there'll be a lot of online teaching. Um, it's really an ongoing situation. We'll, um, the college will take advice uh, or uh, as advice as it's issued from the government, um, from the um, higher education authority and from the hsc so we'll just have to wait and see um, as soon as we know we'll put it on our website we'll inform our students so rachel o'brien wants to know when you finish primary teaching can you go straight into a full-time position or have you to do a certain number of weeks in the same school first so i suppose when you finish your degree with us uh, rachel you you're finished in college uh, with us i suppose a lot of uh, primary teachers initially they might be on probation so they might have fulfill a certain amount of teaching within um, a certain time period after they have um, finished your degree. So if you do have any, uh, if you want to find out more about that, I would advise you to check out the uh, Teaching Council's website. They'd have a lot of, a comment, they'd have a lot of um, information about that. Someone wants to know, when will you know if you received a scholarship? So if it's our undergraduate entry scholarships, um, 
they're only allocated once you accept a place in the program on, on one of our programs so we'll inform you of that if you do well get high points you leave insert if it's our sports scholarships remember the deadline for application is tomorrow the 1st of may and you'll be informed then in the coming months about that um other question come in how many hours a week in arts so it really depends on what subjects uh, you're doing um uh, I suppose in general, I suppose you're between 12 and 15 hours a week uh, class time, but then it's really up to you in terms of how much time you spend. You'll have assignments, you'll have essays to do, and uh, I suppose in our degree, you probably should be doing a lot of reading, a lot of research as well in the library as well. So maybe just keep that in mind. Um, another question in from uh, Weller Emmy If you started doing BA and psychology but found it too difficult, could you change to the Bachelor of Education? Um, I suppose in terms of uh, transferring within the college from one course to another, you'd need to have the points, and you'd, um, which you probably obviously would if you had the Bachelor of Education, if you'd be in Education and Psychology, um, you you might be able to do that. Yes. So um, if you do have more questions about that, contact our admissions office as they, as they would deal with all transfers and things like that. So they're at admissions at mic.ul.ie. Uh, growing your Russell wants to know are there any links in place to use UL sports facilities tanks um, yeah so we have obviously we have our own sports facilities on our Limerick and our Taurus campuses uh, we have our sports centre the uh, Talton building we have our GA pitch tennis courts and so on a number of different sports halls and so forth so um, yeah a lot of our students uh, would, would obviously use that um, as a student you may be able to get access to uh, the UL sports centre for example use a swimming pool different things like that uh, is an option as well um, you may be able to use it as at a student rate. How many hours a week is primary teaching? Um, I think we've covered this already. Primary teaching, it's roughly, I suppose, 30 hours a week in terms of uh, class time, and you also be having school placement then at different stages throughout the program as well. Siobhan Green wants to know, as a fifth year student, when do you recommend booking court brack accommodation? So for court brack, um, usually our accommodation does tend to fill up very quickly. So it's usually booked up um, before Christmas for the for the forthcoming year. So it's never too early to get in touch, make contact with them, uh, ask any questions that you or your parents want to ask. And it's up to you then if you want to put down a deposit, you, you may uh, possibly consider that as well. So my, my always advice is always is make contact as soon as possible. Uh, Jamie Early has a quick question. Um, if you're doing early childhood um, education, can you do placement in a special school or is that not possible? So, yeah, as part of the early childhood um, uh, the program, you'll be out on placement at different stages. So, yeah, part of that can be in a primary school. So you might be able to maybe get involved maybe with special education needs in, in one of those schools. Um, that'll be something you'd have to discuss once you're on the program. Um, and you'd obviously we'd obviously help accommodate you and sort out your placement as well. So if you do have any more questions, uh, we're going to just finish this up in the next minute or two. So please post them. Um, if you do have anything else, um, just to keep in mind, uh, this is the first of a series of live Instagram Q&A uh, sessions that we will be running over the coming weeks. Uh, like I said at the start of, the, of this uh, session, the next one will be on the 5th of May at 11 a.m. And that will be on the BA in Contemporary Applied Theatre Studies and that will be Carol Quigley as well. So... And final question or so has come in from Cancel the Leaving Cert. Is it easy to get placement in a second school that isn't your old school? Well, I suppose that just depends, really. You'd have to, um, I presume that's probably for um, uh, post primary teaching on one of our Tarlis programs. Uh, obviously, our Tarlis campus would have links with an awful lot of second schools uh, in the area and in different counties throughout Ireland. So, um, yeah, they'd help organise that for you, and um, you'd have to contact the schools and so on. So, you know, I, I'm sure you, you'll get, you obviously get a school um, at, at some stage anyway, particularly in the Tarlis area. We would have very strong links there, so to be able to get your placement, I'm sure, in one of those schools if you can't get it in your old school as well. So, that might be just something to consider. Okay, so if that's it, I think we'll we'll finish up our session for today. Uh, thanks to everyone for, for dropping in. Uh, like I said, remember, we're going to have live Q&A sessions over the next couple of weeks. You can check out the full schedule on our website, mic.ul.ie. Uh, please remember, next week on um, Tuesday, uh, the 5th of May at 11 a.m., we'll have Dr. Carol Quigley, and she'll be going through the BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Study as well. So I uh, have your questions ready for uh, that day, and um, if you want to ask any questions prior to it, you'll probably be able to do it on our Instagram account as well so one uh, last question has come in Niall Gorman does provisional waiting lists mean you have uh, accommodation no if it's provisional that means you're on a waiting list that's if someone else drops out 
uh, then you might be able to get a place. But contact the accommodations office if you do have any more questions uh, about all of our uh, accommodation over the coming days. Okay, thanks very much for uh, thanks to everyone again for joining me. Um, I hope you're all keeping well. Uh, stay safe, and hopefully we might talk to you again uh, in the coming weeks and months. And just remember as well, we have a Q and A platform on all of our web pages uh, called Pubble. So if you do have questions in the coming weeks or months, you can always uh, send them in uh, via Pubble as well. So thanks for listening to me, and hopefully many of you might tune in next week, 5th of May, 11 uh, a.m., where you can find out more from the, uh, Dr. Carl Quigley about our BA in Contemporary and Applied Theatre Studies. So thank you all. Uh, stay safe and take care.